with me now. Jason, how did you see today's game? Well, it started off, then carried on, quick break in the middle, then it was over. <laughs> Still no goals, though, from the big summer signing, Paulinho. Is he struggling to settle in? Not at all, Mark. Paul, he's come here from Brazil. He's settling grace. OK, he's not that keen on the weather, the food, the people, the language, the culture, the nightclub. <laughs> and the city itself. Otherwise, he loves it here. <laughs> Is it a concern that some sections of the crowd booed the team off today? Doesn't bother us, Mark. Uh, the lads have always had a special relationship with the fans. Especially with these two babes in the north stand, Debbie and Michelle. Um, <laughs> you know, smart. We like our women like we like our coffee. Roasted. Thanks, Jason. Cheers. How with Jason Bent? Jason, that was a great game, but I think the central talking point is going to be that incident with the referee in the second half. Look, it's very heated out there today with the referee, and unfortunately, a few of the lads got carried away and punched and kicked him unconscious. <laughs> Um, I'm not condoning what they've done, but it was our throwing. It seems that the uh, seems that the incident was triggered when Ricardo headbutted the referee. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Ricardo did make some contact, uh, but I have to say, the ref lost consciousness very easily. <laughs> Do you think it's time that modern technology needs to be brought into the game so we can replay these kind of controversial incidents? Personally speaking, absolutely. I'd love to see what we did to the ref over and over again. <laughs> Jason Bent, you're a role model for kids all over the world. Do you think this is really the way that premiership footballers should behave? When the referee's a fucking prick like today, then yes. <laughs> Jason, thanks. Cheers. Jason Bent. Jason, bad defeat today. Yeah, very disappointing today, Mark, for the players, the manager, the football club, but above all for the fans. Uh, unlike the rest of us, they actually give a shit. Surely... Surely this piles pressure on the manager. No, that's not true at all, Mark. The gaff's doing an outstanding job. Lads are 110 per cent behind him. He's got the full sport to everyone at his football club. I'm sorry, Jason. Uh, we've just heard the manager's contract has been terminated. Well, that's... Fantastic news, Mark. <laughs> Definitely time for that twat to go. And apparently, Marco Di Gianni is in the frame for the job. That's terrific news for this football club. That'll give all the lads a much-needed boost. There's no reason now why we can't challenge for the big prizes next season. He's certainly got my full backing. Uh, do you think he's got enough experience for the job? Um, to be fair, I've never heard of him. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Cheers. Talking to Jason Bent. Well, Jason, nil-nil, not the result you're after, but can you tell us something about the shirts you and the team put on at the end of the game? Yeah, um, educate, don't educate. <laughs> uh, as part of the club's campaign to get kids enthusiastic about education, helping them realise school's really important. Um, I left school when I was eight. And... <laughs> And I'll make 96 grand a week. I'll be nothing without my education. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> what does the campaign involve, Jason? Part of it's to get kids into reading. I uh, realise books really broaden your mind. Um, I've just started reading Mr Tickle. <laughs> um, he loves tickling people. It's a great read. And you've uh, just returned from a club trip to uh, coach kids in Malawi. I think it was actually to Africa, Mark. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, real eye-opener, the, the poverty, the overcrowding, the smell. I'm never flying economy again. Thanks, Jason. Cheers.